Okay, let's get started. So we want to find our customer. And I'm going to use cool cars. I have, uh, there's no balance for this client, for this sample client. So what we want to do is create a credit so that we can replicate the process. So let's pretend that we receive check 101 for a thousand dollars today. I'm going to hit save and close and save as a credit. So now we have a payment that we received from our customer, Cool Cars, as an overpayment of 1000 Now what we want to do is refund them with the check. So I'm going to go to New and Write Check. Now, we're going to, under the Payee, we're going to choose the customer that we're paying. And under category, you want to use accounts receivable because that is the account that increased and or decreases when we have overpayments or any sort of payment. So now we have check 72 and the date and we have to remember the dollar amount of a thousand and cool cars. You can write a description if you like uh, and that'll be it. We're going to hit save and close. So now when we look at our uh, cool cars profile, we see that we have the payment that was the overpayment. And now we have the refund. And if we look at our balance, it's zero. But what we want to do is link these two transactions so that whenever we open them, we know what happened. So we're going to go to new, receive payment. We're going to look for cool cars. And as you can see, we have uh, the check we wrote back as a payment, as a refund. And then we have the payment that we received as a credit. So when we link the two, the transaction becomes zero because we were paid and then we reimbursed. You can make sure the date is correct. Uh, you could write a memo down here so you have any details regarding this transaction. Then hit save and close and you're all set. Everything is paid, closed, and applied. And simple, just like that.